Hello, I'm Eric Lawler for Joe.ie. I'm in the headline bar in Dublin, the uh, largest seller of independent Irish craft beers in the country. And I'm here with Reuben Gray, who is a craft beer expert, and my, my sister from another mister, Marie Madden from Horror.ie. Hello, guys. Tell me, Reuben, what's the crack? Uh, we're here to talk about uh, judging beer, and the reason for that is that the Carney Beer uh, Festival is happening um, in two weeks' time on uh, June 5th through 7th. And uh, as part of that, we're having the first um, All Ireland Beer Awards uh, based in Killarney, the Killarney Beer Awards. Rather than me just say what I'm tasting, I'm going to just pass it around. Oh, hey, well, let's do. Uh, put me on the spot the here. pressure's on, really. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's hard to pinpoint it. It is. Yeah. I'll have to hand it over to my so, earnest colleague. Again, here. if it was closer to room temperature or cellar temperature, you'd be able to get a lot more out of us. Right. It's uh, Metal Man Windjammer. Metal Man Windjammer. Here we go. So. Well, the one thing that strikes me straight away is that um, it is quite fruity, and there is. Maybe this is. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know too much about craft beer. I haven't really sampled that much, but it's not as gassy as regular commercial beer. You can tell this one here is pretty clear. There's a little bit of haze in it. Yeah. Um, you can sometimes attribute the haze to the hops. Sometimes to uh, cold chilling, just the way it's coming out. So give that a go. Yeah, it's definitely a lot stronger, a bit drier on the back. Than yeah, so it's much drier here. Pass this over here. Thank you, sir. It is drier, but it's nicer. I like that one. I really like that one. That's gorgeous. Two points of that, please, now. <laughs> Huge amount of hops. Mm. Um, you'll get a lot of um, sort of citrus hops, like uh, citrus lemon fish. and uh, grapefruit and uh, that kind of thing. Though there's, there's not so much tropical fruit that you get in some of the other it's ones. It's really nice, though. It's really tasty. It's delicious. Oh, we have a new favourite now, that's my favourite. Oh, okay. yeah. That's lovely. That's again so easy to drink. Mm. Yes. Um, so it's really nice. Uh, you probably easily got the uh, the lemon anyway. Yeah. Um, some, some of them will have uh, orange, some of them will have lime. Um, they're using the zest of uh, those fruits, so they just you know, spray the zest off and then they put in crushed coriander seeds. Now, unlike uh, Smithix, Smithix would uh, come like a Guinness and uh, it's got a nitro head on it, so it's a big creamy head on it. Uh, this one doesn't, it's just simply CO2, uh, just like most of the other beers here. Uh, this one We're is, that yeah, one. <laughs> now it's, uh, most Irish red ales, they don't have very much in the way of hop uh, flavor or bitters, bitters or aroma, but this one has a little bit extra added in. Thank you. You see, um, even though I'm Irish, I've never even had one pint of the other stuff. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, never. And so I've never, and I've told, been told it's an acquired taste. I have tried sipping it once or twice. It didn't you agree can't with me. Take one or two sips. No, yeah, you need to stick with it, apparently. <laughs> but I would happily drink a pint of that now after mm -hmm. tasting it. Yeah. 